What's up, YouTube Crafting Cars? Here's your boy getting uh, here for another video. And Subi, a little bit more grown up since you've seen him last, probably. Uh, today, what we're doing is front brakes on the Chevy Sonic. Um, getting they're a little warped. They probably don't need to get done um, as far as pad lights goes and stuff. But the rotors are for sure warped. And being as this is a new car. Uh, I just want to knock them out, get them done. That way I know where they're at and stuff. Um, and then, man, doesn't that just look good? Soon. It's coming out soon. More videos on that later. But uh, Yeah, so I'm just going to fire up my old JBL uh, speaker here. And then lift the car up, start knocking her out. i got a few new toys, the speaker being one of them. And my... Uh, brand new Milwaukee Impact. So we're gonna see how this does on the lug nuts compared to my old one. As you can see here, I have a uh, their older model. So this one has way more power. We're gonna see what it's got. And hopefully it's knocked this all up. I'm trying to be a little bit better about telling you guys what bolts I'm using, or what sockets I'm using, and stuff like that, what sockets and wrenches I'm using. Um, yeah, let's just dive right in and get this job knocked out. one side off um, you might have seen a couple of the other neat surprises this is a little roller that you can kneel on it saves your knees and I'll tell you what so much nicer than the concrete I also have this nice new stool both of these are courtesy of my fiance um, but anyways so these two bolts for the caliper are a 18 millimeter and then there's also this little torx uh screw Subi, get out of there you don't want that this torx screw which holds the rotor on is a t30 torx socket uh so i busted that out uh took the two bolts off and as you can also see um I had to heat her up a lot and she pounded right off. I had an upgrade to my big boy uh, dead blow hammer, but I thought I didn't need brakes until you see the back side of this rotor and realize just how crusty it really is. And the front, you got a lot of heat spots on there and whatnot. Um, so definitely needed to be done. Now I'm gonna do everything in reverse of what I just did. And I'll set you up on another time lapse so you can see where all the bolts go and with the order of which I do everything. And we'll go from there. All right.
right guys, so this side is done. You might have seen me kind of struggling, acting a little bit confused uh, putting the brake pads in. Here are the two old ones in the middle there, and the top two are the brand new ones. Now, let's let that focus there. They're identical. I've matched them up every which way there. Right? Absolutely identical. Even the uh, little squealer clips and anti rattle clips that they come with, identical. But at the very top of that brake pad, there's a little bit of a gap there. I don't know if you can, yeah, yeah, you can see that. There's a little bit of a gap there where it slides into. And I wasn't very happy about sliding in there. So, gave it a lot of encouragement, got her in there, bolted everything up, and it looks pretty, pretty good. I double and triple checked the part number of the parts that I got from the store. They're right. So I'll drive with this, make sure that everything's good and that uh, there aren't any problems that I'm missing or forgetting or um, noticing, I guess. Um, I also put anti-seize on that torque socket. It's nice to kind of use that just to hold the rotor in place while you're working on it. You don't gotta worry about it flopping around. So I want it to be easy to get off. So I put anti-seize on that. I put anti-seize on the two um, caliper um, bracket bolts. And then for the caliper um, itself, those two little itty bitty ones, which are a 10 millimeter, I ended up taking those out just to make it a little easier putting the brake pads and the clips on. Um, I didn't put anything on those. Those came out easy and they're 10 mil. You don't need to tighten them crazy tight. So. Uh, that's all back on and I greased behind the rotor so that next time I won't have to beat the son of the sucker off. Um, yeah, but aside from that, all that's really left is to put the wheel on and take it for a test drive. But I think, um, I think you guys have seen enough. The other side's going to be the exact same way. There's a lot of me heating it up, beating the old stuff off and then uh, putting the new stuff back on. It's gonna be a struggle with the pads again, I'm sure. Um, yeah, aside from that, that's a brake job on a 2013 Chevy Sonic RS. Um, we'll see you guys soon here. We got the BRZ coming out of storage. I'm gonna be driving that to the car wash here in the next day or two. Um, and then I got it. I got a mounted gauge in the Sonic. And Afton's working on his motor, getting that Civic done. Plus there might be a little bit of a surprise, a little car reveal later. Uh, more on that later, if it happens. Um, and we're gonna have to do an, a garage update. There's a lot of change in here um, that you probably haven't seen, but uh, it's happened. So until next time, thanks for watching. We appreciate you all. And uh, thanks for sticking around. Bye guys.